I believe that we need to take a second look at ourselves individually and collectively around the world and to realize that we're responsible for what happens to us in our lifetime. Stop blaming other people. I do not agree with the COVID-19 shutdown. I think it's caused more damage than it has good. We have what we call a psychoschematic or under neurology would be called an imaginary illness. What affects the mind affects the body. One of the great teachings of the wisdom book of Proverbs is as a man or a woman thinketh in their heart, so they are. And when thought and emotion become as one, you can say to the mountain, move and it'll move. And what you believe, you literally become. That's because we have a mind, heart, brain function. The mind, heart, and brain or electrical and magnetic because everything's energy and everything's moving at a different vibrational rate of speed. But the heart is 5,000 times more powerful magnetically and it's attraction back of some energy based on the frequency you're sending it out than the mind or brain and it's a hundred times more powerful electrically than the mind or brain is dispersing out of energy. So what happens is this, it's very simple. Neuroscience believes that we are being programmed by the 86 billion neurons in our brain. I do not believe that. I believe that consciousness precedes brain activity and consciousness precedes the Big Bang and consciousness was there before any matter existed. So what's happening is, is when you think a thought and you dwell upon that thought long enough, it begins to form a paradigm in the subconscious mind which creates a belief system in which you believe you become. But it transfers into the human heart. Now the heart thinks, but it actually does what the mind tells it to do, the conscious mind, consciousness. And then the heart sends a signal to the brain. Then the 86 billion neurons go to work and they began to release chemicals into the body based on what they've been ordered to do by the human heart. Cytokines, stress hormones, or healthy endorphins, good or, or bad chemicals into the body. The heart also sends out energy kilometers around us, electrical and magnetically, sending it out and retracting back the energy based on the frequency we're sending it out. I spoke to a woman a few years ago in New York City and she said, Grady, I'm afraid to go out in the park and jog. I said, if you continue to think that way and you continue to jog with that behavior and that preference, you're going to eventually attract back a predator into your life. Lo, that that I fear seems to come visit upon me. It's all energy, so my advice to her was to go out confidently and say it to herself when she's jogging. I can accomplish anything I put my mind to. I am blessed, I am. I am healthy, I am. I'm having the most wonderful day of my life. And emotionalize that thought. Because when thought and emotion become as one, when the two marry and become as one, you can say to any mountain, move and it'll move. It works for you or it works against you. What we think we do and what we believe we become. Every night for the past decade or so, when I go to sleep, I lie on the bed, I turn the lights off, and I begin to focus with my eyes closed, centering my mind into a certain point. And then I begin a process that works beautiful for me. I begin to remove all negative energy and any illness that I may have contracted or that's prohibiting me from being in perfect mental, physical, and spiritual condition. I, rem I remove fear, doubt, worry, unforgiveness issues, regrets. I remove doubt, envy, laziness. And then I begin to remove any bad coal or virus or cancer, dementia, Alzheimer's, anything that would prohibit me from having perfect health. 
and I began to center, put it in your mind first. I, I put it in my mind and I began to center on every part of my body. You can do it any way you want to do it. But I focus on removing all this negative stuff from my mind, brain, heart, lungs, eight indoctrine glands, seven uh, chakra centers of the body, spinal column, throat, eyes, nose, mouth, teeth, gums, shoulders, arms, hands, legs, stomach area, kidneys, liver, intestines, hips, shins, knees, feet, toes, hands, fingers. I go through my, my whole body and then I, re, I focus on removing it from the blood in my body to purify my blood and uh, from the bones, anything that would contract anything. And I don't beg it away or hope it away because they're low vibrations. I want a high vibration so I command it away. Remember that love casteth out all fear. Love is the ingredient. And when you're focusing in on a high vibration by commanding something, you're speaking love. Love is courageous, it's fearless. And then I command it away. I absolutely demand it away. And when I feel like it's leaving, I invite the energy of love to come through me to every part of my body and to heal me. And I continuously do this until I go to sleep at night. I start getting really sleepy in this meditation and it works beautiful. It lasts about 20 minutes. And then I go to sleep and when I wake up in the morning, I have that belief in what you believe you literally become. We have to put it in the mind first. So I want you to try that technique and begin to take responsibility for yourself. Don't carry the worries of the day or the negative energy of the day with you. Get rid of it. All it will do is hold you back and it will cause a diverse effect in the mind, brain, heart function. I want to take a moment to wish each a wonderful September the 12th, a beautiful but rainy day here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Grady X. Walker, have a wonderful day, guys.